This is a Wild Axe Aurora Leisure. It's a nice compact camper van, six meters in fact, and yet they've got a lot into this. It's a nice color, like the alloy wheels as well. It's a smart looking bit of kit. It's based on the Fiat, and in fact it's an automatic transmission, 140 horsepower, so a nice thing to drive. Let's take a quick wander around the outside first of all. It's got the built-in LBG tank, so that's filled from there. This one here is the water filler, and that one down there is the water drain for the fresh water and for the wastewater, and the cassette for the toilet is just there. 240 volt power goes in here, and then we've got the reversing camera. You can just see it tucked away under the high-level brake light, and there's access to the vehicle here. Should you want it straight through there? That's rather nice, actually, because it means that when you're using this back area, you can have these doors open straight to the outside. That's rather lovely. The other thing we've got here, in fact, is the table. That's for further in the vehicle. I'll show you that, uh, where that goes when we go inside. And then also down here, bits of storage. That's got the uh, over carpets in if you want them. And battery in that side. So that is that but we'll take you in proper and show what this is all about. There's an awning on this one. I think that's an option. Got a feeling it's got solar power on this one as well from memory. And that one there, oh, that's just a vent for the Truma heating system. So we can open it up just here. And then we find a button that powers out the step. And away we go. Now this is designed for three people to sleep and to travel. So you've got the two seats at the front here, plus a third seat just there, of course, all with seat belts. And these front ones swivel. So you can make this into quite a nice lounge area up at this end. If we come right on forward, you can see, as I mentioned earlier, it's got the automatic transmission selector. Another thing it's got on here, which is nice, is the automatic climate control, where you just dial in the temperature and it sets it all for you. That's the screen for the reversing camera. And then these have all got blinds that come across. So these, for example, like this, you've got them at the edges of the windscreen and so forth. So you can close that all off for privacy at night. And then these have got the drop down armrests as well, which is nice. There's a bit of storage up above here. There's also a very big skylight up here, which opens so you can get ventilation through. And these again have the screens that come across. The control system is up here, so this is giving you access to, if I light that up, oh, you can see that. Not very well because we're getting reflections on the screen, but it looks a lot better in real life. But that's giving you basically, hang on. Your display for things like uh, water tanks and battery levels can switch your water system on and off, all that kind of stuff is all controlled from there. If we head on along here, then we've got light switches along here. We've got the carbon monoxide alarm is up there as well, as you can see. Another thing we've got actually for this door is there is a bug screen that comes across. So you can get plenty of ventilation, but you can keep the midges out. So that's a very nice little feature. Kitchen's over on this side. This has got a lift up section here, so you can increase the work surface quite a bit when you're using it. Sink, of course, is underneath this one. And then we've got the oven here. So this is giving us a three burner hob and the oven itself down underneath. A lot of storage here as well. So big drawers like this. That's better access from this side. <laughs> there we go. And then more storage down underneath, like so. I think I mentioned, but this one converts into a bed. So you spin that seat round and drop that one down. But that is where the table that we saw goes in there, the one that we saw on the back door. So you can spin these seats round, put the table in there. That makes quite a nice dining area. There is a storage up in behind here, of course. That's the Truma heating system. So that's giving you uh, heating from the 240 volt or from the gas system. Same with the hot water. More storage up in places like this some quite nice lighting in here as well with these sort of LED strip lights they've put in everywhere. They look really good. This is up here because it's a power socket and an aerial socket so that if you want to fit a TV, go straight on that panel there and of course that's the perfect place then 
to be able to watch it from these seats up here when they're swiveled round. If we head on back a bit further, this is rather a nice touch. This has got another slide out panel there. So you've got that one there and that one there. And one of the biggest criticisms of these is the fact there's not really much workspace in the kitchen. Well, on this one, you're not really in a position to complain, especially, as I mentioned, for a six metre vehicle. This has got a big hanging locker in, but the other thing we've got here is another small table and the table leg. And the reason for that is so that you can, if you wish, pop that into that socket just between the seats. So that when those are swiveled around, you've got something to put your drink on while you're watching the TV or having a chat. That works well. Uh, what else we've got here? Power sockets in here, extra lighting in here, that all that kind of stuff. And then on this side is a pretty decent toilet compartment for a six metre van. That is excellent. So the loo is there. We've got again, oops, storage dotted around in places like this. And there's a shower in here as well. And then you've got the vent on the roof for a bit more light and a bit more air into there. Very good. On round a little bit further. And then this is the seating area that we saw when we opened the back doors. And this is what I mean is you can sit here, put some cushions on here if you want to, put your feet out. If you park somewhere nice, that's fantastic. This will make into a bed. So you've got sliding sections down here. These come out and across. That infills using the backrests, and that's a big double bed. So sleeping for two here, plus that one we saw further forward. And that's what gives you the sleeping for three, as well as the traveling for three. More storage then up in places like this. More of that funky lighting. Another opening hatch again with the screens that come across, like say bug screens and night screens. And of course, you've got a similar arrangement with these windows. So these open, but they also have screens like so. Very nice. And that is the cranking handle for the awning. All little reading lights again tucked away in here. He says, not knowing how to turn it on. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's neat. So you've got a little one light like that and then a second press to get that one like that. Yeah, that's fantastic. It's under three and a half tonne, of course, so it can be driven on a standard driving licence. And that, I think, is rather splendid. Got a lot into that. There we go. That is about the size of that. Massive thanks to Nickwell Motorhomes, who organised this tour. Huge thanks as ever to you guys for watching it. Let me know what you think of that, and we'll catch you on another one of these real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.